A new menu has been added to iOS 13.0, and it's the fonts option. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk all about the new fonts option, what it means, and show you how to go ahead and set up different fonts on your iPhone. If you're not sure what fonts are, basically it's how your typing appears. So you can get different styles of your letters to make them look a little more fancy or cool or however you want to. So in this video, we're going to go through all this. If you're new here and you like iPhone tutorials, fixes, and also some cool app discovery, make sure you go ahead and smack that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Welcome everybody. I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net and let's go ahead and jump into this here. So iOS 13.0, I was very excited that they added the fonts menu and like most people, I couldn't wait to install some fonts. I went in and checked it out. So if you go into settings and from settings, you go into general, you'll see that new fonts menu and it's like, oh, awesome. Now you can go ahead and download fonts. There used to be an old way to do it, but it was kind of a little long to go ahead and do it. Uh, unfortunately, this fonts menu is a little short lived. You go into it, it says no fonts installed. You can download apps that install fonts from the app store. So now we're back at the app store. So unfortunately, it's the same way it used to be. They just added a menu here to make it easier. I'm still going to go ahead and show you how to do this for free, by the way, which did take a little extra research. So please smack that thumbs up if you appreciate not paying for stuff. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check it out here. We're going to go and choose open app store. I'm going to choose search and I'm going to type fonts. And I know which one I'm looking for, so I'm just going to scroll through. And there's some really high up ones that look good, but they're not. So just ignore them. Keep scrolling. I'll let you know when we get there. We are getting close. <laughs> Hopefully you're not getting dizzy. I know I could just search for the name, but I kind of wanted to show you how many different font keyboards there are. And then we get to buzzer font. That's the one we want. Let's go ahead and select that. 4.9 star rating. And the big thing is next to get, there is nothing there that says in-app purchases. You have to be very careful with downloading font apps. There are a lot of subscription-based font apps that give you it free for 24 hours, and then they charge you per month subscription-based, which yes, it's a nice feature to have, but no, I ain't paying no subscription on this, so you definitely don't want to get something like that. Not to mention most of them are $20 a month, which is just insane. $20 a month for fonts? Yeah, let's just know that this is the one that I've found that works well. So the thing about this, a lot of them give you free stuff if you go ahead and give a five star review. That's why there are so many that have high reviews because they give you a little taste of the fonts if you do that. With this app, it's completely free and it works on the keyboard, which is the thing that most of the apps that are free are missing. So let's go ahead and choose Git and I'm going to go ahead and download this. Awesome. We got it downloaded. Let's go ahead and choose open. This is going to tell you how to set it up. Go to buzzer font settings, tap keyboards, and then we're going to enable buzzer keyboard and full access. What we'll do here is we'll go ahead and choose general. This is right after you choose settings. We'll choose keyboard. We'll choose keyboards again. We'll choose add new keyboard. Choose buzzer font. Now that we have that in there, we'll go ahead and choose buzzer fonts. And we'll choose allow full access. This will pop up here. We'll be presented with this allow full access. I want to go ahead and read this just so you understand what is happening. Full access allows the developer of this keyboard to transmit anything you type including things you have previously typed with this keyboard. This could include sensitive information such as credit card, 
numbers or street address. So since we are, since this is a different keyboard, it won't pick up something that you've previously typed because you've previously typed it on the other keyboard. But if you've had this installed before, it could do that. But going forward, this is going to pick up everything that you do type. So if you do this, you want to be careful and not type in any private information. At least this is what I am getting from this alert. I'm going to leave it up to you to decide if this is something you want to do. Keep in mind, because it's your data and I only know so much about the alerts themselves. If you want to go ahead and give it a try, choose allow. If not, I understand. Just choose don't allow. Maybe watch the rest of the video, see if it's for you before you go further, if you're on the fence. So I'm going to go ahead and choose allow. And now I have that set up. I'm going to go back to the keyboard. Does buzzer fonts work in all these apps? Hold the global button and select buzzer fonts. All right, so we're set up there. So let's go ahead and get into a screen. So what we want to do at this part is go ahead and hit the globe at the bottom left. Choose the keyboard. Once we choose the keyboard, you can see we now have different fonts. So we can go ahead and choose these. So let's try this one. I have to say it is pretty hard to type. I feel like there's a little bit of a delay, but other than that, it works good. And that's how you do it. I thought you had to leave a review, but you know what? You don't. It's just open for free. No wonder it's a legit. So there are 30 fonts and I'm just scrolling through these here for you. Oh, maybe, maybe I found the, the thing here. Please review us to help uh, and more fonts and stay free. What if I say no? I can still do it. You don't have to do it, it just asks you to. See what else we got. Oh, that's a neat one. Yo, how is it going? I kind of like these. <laughs> do not type here <laughs> I'm going to show you the rest so they, I, they report that they have 30 and they say they add more all the time I'm sorry they report they have more than 30 that's all of them so that's a good amount and it's free and it works in most apps including messaging Instagram and I know the app store as well, because <laughs> I see a lot of people do that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Shout out to Buzzerfont for being cool and making something for free where everyone else is trying to take the money. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. If so, do me a favor, smack that like and subscribe uh, if you're looking for any more iphone tips and tricks videos i do have a lot in our catalog here plus i have a special one on my website that only the people that come to my website get to see so you can check it out it's at helpfultutorials.net it's completely free and i also have a few blog posts there if you want to check it out i'd really appreciate it here's some videos i think you will enjoy and i want to thank you for the view